guys, welcome back to my channel. I just went to the farmer's market trying to find some nice fruit and veggies and I found a whole bag of stuff. And I wanna show you guys, but I do wanna tell you, going to a farmer's market is fantastic. I went and I spent, ready for this? $11.46 on all of these things. So, oh my gosh, I'm squinting. So let me show you what I got and I hope you enjoy. It's just gonna be a short little video, but it will give you a hint as to low calorie foods that I'm using in my diet now um, for uh, calorie counting. That's what I'm doing now. It's great when you transition off of Optivia, you still have a way to either maintain your weight or if you still wanna lose a little bit more, this is the way to go. In fact, Dr. Anderson talks about it in his book, so make sure you read about it. Uh, creating that calorie counting piece is just phenomenal. It's working great. And I will give you some updates. This is just a quick little video that I wanted to show you about all of the goodies that I just found. So let me open up the bag for you. Here's the giant stash in the back of the truck and we'll start off with a spaghetti squash. This squash was really, really cheap. I can't even believe it. It was less than a dollar. Um, but I like to buy spaghetti squash with this like brownish, whitish piece on the bottom. Sorry, a car's driving by. Um, because when, this is how you know they're ripe. When this lays out in the field, like it's probably on the bottom side, when they're ripe, this is what you get. And that's how you know you're getting a ripe spaghetti squash. Don't buy one that doesn't have this patch on the bottom. Same goes with a pumpkin. Um, I also got two, whoops, two bins of blueberries. I got a bag, um, I think this is red onion. Yep, red onion for my salad. I'm gonna be making turkey meatballs. So I like to have some onion in there. I got a big giant thing of cilantro. Love that in my turkey meatballs. Got some bananas. Um, couple of little red potatoes. Now keep in mind, don't go after me um, regarding the carbs here because on Optivia, if you're still on it and you haven't transitioned and you're not maintaining, you're getting carbs in your day. Each fueling has about 13 to 15 carbs. So, when you've transitioned and you're on maintenance and you're doing some calorie counting like um, like I am, this red potato is a really healthy carb. It's slow digesting, it doesn't spike your insulin. And I, on purpose, I get the little ones. Look how small that is compared to my hand. Portion control, portion control. And then I got a huge bag of zucchini because I'm gonna make the meatballs on top of zucchini noodles. So, all of these groceries here from the local farmer's market came out to about $10. <laughs> That's it. So, if you have a local farmer's market, go check it out. There are some things on here that are Optivia approved, but mostly these are just for me, um, for my calorie counting journey. So, anyway, that's the scoop, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you in my next video.